We're about to do something fun. Just letting you know, there's a mother and tiny baby whale right off of my stern. This is what people think freezing is. <laughs> In your it's house, I think it's too. A different way to do it. On your boat, I, think. I, I think, think it's I really know, cool. I said to Taylor, it's like, it's like special to have it done on the yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's very cool. That's awesome. And then I started having visions of, is this how I die? Like, <laughs> trapped in the freaking shower. We are Mike and Taylor. And these are our dogs, Penny and Lucy. We sold our home and nearly everything we owned, moved aboard a 40-foot boat, and sailed from Seattle. This is the story of us making our way. Welcome back, friends. We are currently working our way down the coast of Pacific Mexico and are now in the charming seaside town of Barra de Navidad. So this week in Barra, there's a lot of events going on. There's like boat races, there's been like concerts, there's like all sorts of stuff going on in town because it's some event that uh, happens annually that's essentially designed to raise money for the local schools here. And so yesterday, Mike went out and crewed on a boat on the race uh, in the race here and was far too busy to film even a tiny little thing. But he came in third, the boat that he was on came in third. So like last night there was like an award ceremony. In today's race, yeah, Mike and the crew came in third. I was on the boat, but I'll choose you. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. Well done. Oh, wow. You gotta be careful with this. It's kind of a lot. That's all you got. <laughs> And they shared a little bit about the fundraiser and like the money that they had raised. I think they raised about $30,000 for the local schools here in uh, Barra de Navidad, which is so cool. And I think today is sort of like the grand finale of the whole, of the whole thing. So we are going to head into town here and check out all the goings on. I think there's like a concert. I think there's like vendors and stuff. So it should be pretty fun. It's super sweaty up in here, but sun's going down, so I think it'll be a really beautiful night. And I'm excited to go see what this is all about and see um, how this like very cool week filled with activities kind of wraps itself up. And one of the really, really very cool things about this like anchorage that we're at here right now is that they have water taxis 24 hours that cost like nothing. <laughs> so it's super cool. So we're just gonna get a cab to come pick us up and take us into town and go explore and see what's all going on in town. It's hot, man. Yeah. I haven't gotten tacos since we've been on the mainland and I hear that the mainland tacos are superior to Baja tacos, so I'm on the hunt for some tacos tonight. That's what I'm hoping to find. Anything you've got on your list, Mike? Taco sounds good. I want to find a cheap used surfboard. Okay, that's not for dinner though. Oh, no, I don't know. For dinner, just food. Okay, cool. You know, I'll eat it. <laughs> so you just call these guys on the radio and then you go stand on deck and wave like hell when they come into the anchorage. <laughs> hope they find you and they take you out of town. It's like, it's like a dollar a person round trip. Yeah.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the song of the guitar. We moved Via into the marina to give her a much needed clean and tackle a couple projects. One of those projects is painting our decks with new non-skid paint. We had picked up the gray Kiwi Grip in La Cruz a few weeks back and are finally getting the chance to test it out. With a little bit of the deck done, it was time to take our outboard engine that had been acting up for months back to the local Yamaha shop to get a new shift rod seal installed. Oh. Cheesy shrimp empanada. Thank you. Really good. Wow. Well, Do we have an outboard that works? I think it's fixed. I mean, we'll, we'll have to run it for a few days and see if uh, there's any issues, but he said it's good. So what? What was? What did they do? They replaced the seal around the shifter shaft. <laughs> <laughs> the seal tire. Yeah, they. <laughs> yeah, there's just like a you know there's like the shifter rod that goes down into the transmission. They replaced the seal around that. And um, we think that's the the leaky bit. Yeah, and so you know the seals that I replaced before maybe were also bad. I, I, we don't know, but okay. hopefully. All is good. That would be so great. Oh, that would be really nice. It'd be really, really Six nice. months later. We'll know in the next few days, but I think it's all good. Pretty happy. Yeah. Sweet. I know. about to do something fun. We have some friends that we made this weekend who are gonna hook us up with something fun. We're gonna show you and I'm excited. Okay, Max, how many tattoos have you done? Tell us about your tattoo history. So I've, I'm an apprentice at the moment. Yeah. Right? So like I'm still learning, but I would say this is what I'm about to say is probably number nine, tattoo number nine. But I had a very good teacher. Yes. So, I, so my my tattoo master was like, she must be one of the best tattoo artists in Switzerland, and she yeah. taught me. So. I'm tattooing on land for the first time in a month. It feels like nice and steady. Lila chipped away at swallow after swallow with her steady and experienced hands. She's been working as a tattoo artist for about a decade. She was teaching the captain of her boat, Max, how to make tattoos. So if you want one done by the master, you have to offer your body as a practice canvas for the apprentice. So now it was Max's turn to try his hand at some of the smaller swallows closer to my ankle. What's happening, Max? I'm gonna complete two of the swallows. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> It's the earth from really far away. How did you, how did you go all the way up there? Okay, why did you, why did you, why did you, why did you, why did you? It's okay, Brian. Okay, good. That's good to know. I'm still learning, but I'm, I'm at the stage where I'm like looking for as many opportunities as possible. Yeah, well, you have them because you have one, two, three, four, five. Are, are the other two getting tattooed as well? Yes. Oh, you're getting busy. Yeah. So, tattoos. Okay, oh, well, we're about to double your resume. <laughs> awesome. Are you ready, Mike? I think so. Well, we'll see after he does a couple of you know, how those turn out. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm ready. This is your first, though. Yeah. It's a big deal. 
It's a good and kind of a fun way to do it in it's your a, house. I think it's too. a super fun way to do it. I think it's really cool. That's what I said to Taylor is like it's like special to have it done on via. Yeah. Yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> Let's see the tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mike, here you go. Don't sneeze. How does it feel, Mike? Not too bad. Not too bad. Once in a while I get a little sick, but yeah. that's not bad. All done? All done. You did it? Nice. Can I see? There's more air here. Oh yeah. <laughs> It was such a special experience to not only get tattooed by a fellow sailor, but have it done in our own floating home, nearly 3,000 nautical miles away from where we once began. You yeah. are a legend. This is a lot of work. Yeah, was that eight? Seven. Tonight. He's lost count. One, two, it's three, four, five. I think it's seven. It's so seven cool. people. That's awesome. Do you want to take photos of everybody's yes, that you did for your. Um, for my portfolio. For, yeah, for your yeah. portfolio. I feel like, like very. <laughs> I feel like this is like a Renaissance painting. <laughs> Wait, is that TNT out? One, two, three. We're all rolling. Max completed eight tattoos that night, and they all came out perfectly. A huge thanks to Max and his crew for an experience we'll never forget. Be sure to follow him as he sails his boat Elixir around the world. This is what people think cruising is. <laughs> Mike decided he needs to go down the slide at the pool. Wait, Mike, let the let the child go. I'm bigger. <laughs> everything you wanted it to be? The first one was awesome. You made a really good splash. <laughs> yeah. The second one wasn't really... Uh... That was more of a self-propelled... Yeah, it wasn't slippery enough. Yeah. So that one was disappointing, but the first one was just crazy. Though. <laughs> one of the perks of being uh, having your boat in a slip at this marina is that you get to access the pool and sort of some of the resort things. So we just spent two hours pretending we're on vacation and now we're going back real Taylor flew back to the States three, four days ago now, and uh, she doesn't come back for another few days. 
So it's been just me and the ladies here in Barra. And uh, we're really low on water and I'm kind of twiddling my thumbs, been working and um, I don't know what I've been doing. So anyway, I decided I'm gonna go out, make some water and go check out an anchorage just around the corner called Cuesta Comate for a night. Do a little single handing, it's, not, it's only like five miles or so, but hopefully I'll have a nice little sail, fill the tanks and uh, it looks like a cool anchorage. I'm just heating up some breakfast tacos and then I'm gonna pull up anchor here in a little bit. I've only, I, it's been a while since I've single handed. I'm looking forward to it. I got Penny to help. Always very helpful. And Lucy, of course, very responsible. All right, I got the anchor up. Hey, Mike. Hey, uh, just letting you know there's a mother and tiny baby whale right off of my stern. Okay, cool. Yeah, we saw a little boil and, and some action. Um, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll be back on too. That was cool. I don't know if I got any good shots of it, but there's a mother whale with like a tiny cap. Tiny as far as whales go. Looks brand new. And they were really, really close off our stern. Now they're off of our friend uh, Namaste's boat. God, there's so many whales here. Baby whales are like, right off of Namaste's port quarter. Super close. Well, I pulled into um, the little anchorage I wanted to go to, and I decided to bail. I just didn't feel all that comfortable. There was like 15, 16 minutes of wind blowing like right into the anchorage off onshore. It didn't seem like it was that uncomfortable, but it's just enough to make me feel not super confident. And there was like just kind of a sketchy little reef that you have to tuck in behind that's not well charted. There was two other boats in there and I don't know. One of those times where you just kind of, especially single-handed, decide to play it safe. And uh, mostly I'm out here to make water anyway, so. We're back out sailing. We sail for another hour or two and then go back into the bar. It's a great day for sailing though, wow. Mike got Via safely back to the extremely shallow anchorage of Barra and dropped the hook. Thank you as always for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit thumbs up. And join us next time as we discover a wild secret beach. Whoops. Oh no. We say goodbye to our favorite town of Barra and set sail to a tiny gem of an anchorage is full of surprises. You guys might remember actually like a bunch, a long time ago, Taylor got stuck in the shower. I just got locked in the shower stall 
while Mike was on land with the dogs, and the latch, every once in a while, gets very sticky, and it happened while you were on land, and so I had to sit down <laughs> and just wait. How long were you in there? Like 10 minutes I was waiting for you, and the fans are all on, there's so much noise, I couldn't hear, <laughs> like if you were, and I was just yelling for you, because I didn't know if you were actually here or not, and just couldn't hear me. <laughs> so I was just just sitting like, in there? Mom! <laughs> she was showering while I was off the boat. <laughs> I came back to her screaming from the shower. Well, I've kind of known that this thing's gonna break eventually and last night uh, while I was showering it totally like stopped working. You couldn't couldn't get the latch to operate at all and Taylor's back in the state so it's just me on board. So let me show you the shower door. <laughs> so we've got this solid plastic glass thing and this thing just keeps spinning. Oh, I wonder. No, yeah, this thing just keeps spinning. So it didn't matter what I did, I couldn't get the door open. So I had two choices. Well, I, I had three choices. I could break the door, which I didn't want to do. And also not easy, like this V is built like a tank. So it, it, I was kind of messing with it and I was realizing like, oh, this is not going to even be easy for me to break my way out of here. And then I started having visions of, is this how I die? Like <laughs> trapped in the freaking shower, can't get to the radio. Taylor's not gonna come on board for another few days. Like, no one around knows what's going on. Like, maybe someone would hear my screams in the middle of the night or something. And then my other options were to crawl underneath the door or go over the door. And I'm I'm skinny, but uh, not a lot of room. I tried going underneath the door, couldn't get my long ass limbs contorted enough. And I ended up going over the door. <laughs> Oh, this, it would have been so good. I, of course, you know, I couldn't film that because I'm stuck in the freaking shower and I don't normally set up a camera before I shower. Although maybe I should start doing that. It'd really change our demographic, I think. I'd like reach over the door, pop the screen out of the hatch so that way I could like get a hand up in there, pop the screen out of here so I could get a hand there. And I sort of just like flopped myself over the top of the door. But I made it out. I was like, am I just gonna like curl up in a ball and sleep on the floor of the shower until... Would have been two days before Taylor got here. 